2. From New York City, the arts and culture capital of the world, WCBS-TV proudly presents a television first. Warner Wolf's Plays of the Decade. Now here's Warner Wolf. Good evening. You know, when I first joined Channel 2 here almost 10 years ago, we first started with the Plays of the Week. Then from that, we went into Plays of the Month. Then we began Plays of the Year. Well, now for the first time, for the next hour, it's the Plays of the Decade, 1980 through 1989. So first, let's go to the videotape of the Plays of 1980. The most significant patriotic game of the decade, February 1980. U.S. beats Russia 4-3 and two days later wins the gold medal. Best move by manager, Orioles Earl Weaver against umpires Rich Garcia and Steve Palermo with a fake hat throw. The best warm-up for a fight, imitating Ed Sullivan, Miguel Cervantes. The punch of August 1980, Tommy Hearns, boom, down goes Pepino Cuevas. The worst crash of a hydrofoil with only a slight injury in Pasco, Washington. The best collision of 1980, Lee Mazzilli and Wally Backman of the Mets. There they go, back to back, and boom, down they go. The best impromptu move in a tennis match, Bjorn Borg, who kicks the ball against John McEnroe in the U.S. Open. The best wrestling move in a fight, Al Clay, who picks up and throws down Fred Reed. The worst field goal attempt in the National Football League, Steve Mickemeyer of the Buffalo Bills against the Baltimore Colts. Forget it, Steve. The worst horse spill with no one hurt, the third race at Belmont, October 1980. The best reaction to the final out of the game, Tug McGraw. The Bills win the National League East. The best catch of November 1980. John Jefferson of the San Diego Chargers, a one-handed grab. The best catch by an unsuspecting NFL official. Nice grab, ref. The best passing in an NBA game. It's Bird to Archibald to Chris Ford to Maxwell. The longest shot of November 1980 after the buzzer. Larry Bird, 70-footer. The punch of December 1980. Myron Taylor in the red trunks and boom, down goes Earl Wilson. And the best example of two fighters hitting after the bell. December 1980, Rosie Green and Louie Mado. Coming up next on Plays of the Decade, 1981. Ray to Campy Russell, to Ray Williams, to Michael Ray, to Sly Williams. The most car flips with no serious injury to the driver. John Anderson, the Daytona 500, up and over. The best check of a linesman into the stands, Jim Corn of the Red Wings. Get a ticket rep. The best half-court shot of March 81, Otis Birdsong of the Kansas City Kings. The longest college game-winning shot, U.S. Reed of Arkansas. Down by one point, beats Louisville with a 50-footer. The low blow of March 1981, Bazooka Limon, who winds up and boom, low blow. The worst conduct of the year by a soccer player, Renato Chile of the New York Arrows against the Phoenix Inferno and referee Julio Salas. The best halftime shot in basketball. The best curving putt of the year, Johnny Miller, 1981 Masters, who curves it around and the ball goes in. The worst slash, Kevin Maxwell, against the Islanders goalie, Billy Smith. The best attack on a fan, Celtics cornbread Maxwell, who goes after a spectator in Philadelphia. The best collision with an umpire, Giants Enos Cabell and umpire Dick Stello. The best move by a player trying to blow a fair ball, foul. Lenny Randall of Seattle. 
the luckiest fan of the decade, who, going after a foul pop-up, almost falls out of the stands on opening day in Cincinnati. The most devastating punches in a first round, Jerry Cooney, who knocks out former champion Ken Norton. The worst foul tip off an umpire's mask, home plate umpire Jerry Newdecker. The best catch in the bullpen with a hat, Pirates relief pitcher Rod Scurry. The best celebration after winning a golf tournament, Jerry Pate at the Memphis Open. Cool off, Jerry. The best running catch and somersault, Nate Chapman of the AAA Richmond Braves. The golf shot of 1981, Sam Torrance, 165 yard shot, 16th hole British Open, and it's a hole in one. The worst made racket of the decade, Guillermo Vila serving to Andre Gomez. The worst move by a wrestler trying to make an announcement, 500 pound Andre the Giant. The most pumped up player, pitcher Kevin Soche of the Tigers. The worst example of base running, Claude L. Washington of the Braves. The most upset manager of 1981, Phillies manager Dallas Green, fined and suspended five games. The worst aimed pass in the National Football League, Bengals quarterback Kenny Anderson, who hits the referee. The worst move by a gymnast, Brian Meeker. Oh! Meeker was not injured. The catch of 1981 by a big man. Six foot six Dave Winfield of the Yankees, who reaches up and over the eight foot fence. The best attack on a pitcher after a home run, Reggie Jackson, who goes after John Denny. And then Jackson is carried off by his own teammates. The best shot taken in the NFL, watch number 40, Mike Keselowski of the Dolphins. The best effort by a running back on one play, Lynn Kane of the Falcons gets away from one, two, three, four 49ers, five, and the touchdown. The best catch in October 81, the Cardinals' Roy Green against the Cowboys. The first time an NFL referee is sacked with the quarterback. What's the call, Riff? The best reaction to kicking a winning field goal, it's Matt Barr of the Raiders who beats Tampa Bay. The best example of a fighter hitting on the break, Kevin Rooney, who hits Orlando Montalvo. The best off-balance half-court shot, Magic Johnson of the Lakers. The worst move during an introduction, Alex Bradley of the Knicks. The most fake-outs on one goal, there's one. Here comes another one. It's Dave Maloney of the Rangers. And the longest roll in a college game, North Carolina against Wake Forest. Now, let's go to the videotape. Let's go back to 1982 and 1983. The worst pass to finish an NCAA final. Freddie Brown of Georgetown, trailing North Carolina by one, mistakenly throws the ball to James Worthy to end the game. The longest NBA shot of 1982, Brad Davis of Dallas, an 80-foot shot swish. The worst foul of the year, ML Carr of the Celtics tackles Orlando Woolridge. The best goal, here comes Mike Bossy of the Islanders against Hartford. Look at Bossy on his stomach, backhands it in. The best wild swing followed by a dance. Down goes Ronaldo Snipes and there's Scott Frank with a dance. The best mismatch, six foot three Lionel Hollins of the 76ers hits seven foot tree Rollins of the Hawks. The tree chases Hollins off the court. The worst move by a third baseman chasing a foul pop-up, Tom Brookins of the Tigers. Watch out, Tom, watch out. Oh! The best move by a batter trying to avoid a tag, Julio Cruz of Seattle against pitcher Mike Torres of the Yankees. The best move by a pitcher from a flying bat, Mike Kruko of the Phillies. The best catch by a left fielder hitting a brick wall. Scott Thompson of the Chicago Cubs and breaks his collarbone. The closest shave on a pitcher, Bob Forsh of the Cardinals. 
the best punch on a referee, Pedro Cardenas, who accidentally hits referee Burt Lowe's. The best catch by center fielder, Freddie Lynn of the Angels. The boo of the year to the Japanese player who punched out an umpire and was banned for life. The most keyed up pitcher, Brad Leslie of the Cincinnati Reds. The hungriest tennis player, Jimmy Connors, U.S. Open. The best bounce pass for a touchdown, Wisconsin, Illinois. Wide receiver Al Toon to Jeff Nolt, touchdown Wisconsin. The worst violation of stick swinging, goalie Greg Stefan of the Red Wings and Willie Plett of Minnesota. Plett is fined and suspended eight games. The dunk of 1982, Dominique Wilkins of the Hawks. The toughest college player of the year, Iowa defensive back Ron Hawley, who knocks down the goalposts. The best unrehearsed play of the decade, Stanford kicks off to California. Kevin Moyne, Richard Rogers, Dwight Garner, back to Rogers, to Marriott Ford, back to Moyne, 55 yards through the Stanford band and knocking out the trombone player. Touchdown, California. The acrobatic goal of the month, Gilles Hamel of the Sabres, and down he goes with a goal. The best play by an NFL quarterback to avoid a sack, Oilers Archie Manning to Mike Barber, back to Manning. Manning then, running back, underhands the ball on the run to Mike Renfro, thus turning a 32-yard loss into a 10-yard gain. In 1983, the best reaction to a 30-foot putt, Rex Caldwell, Phoenix Open, 18th hole, all right, Rex. The longest college shot of 1983, James Jackson, West Texas State, 70-footer, swish. The worst move by a cheerleader, Sally Nay of James Madison, accidentally clobbered by James Braddock of North Carolina. The best collision, Bob Horner of the Braves, Ron Hodges of the Mets. The best trip of the month by a teammate, Dale Vera, tripped up by Steve Nicosia. The most granite blocks broken in one shot, Richie Barathe, 17 blocks and a new world record. The fattest fighter of the year, 260-pound Willis Ray Colwell. The best Raz on an umpire, Oakland coach Cleet Boyer, who says, come on up, this game should be rained out. The umpire says, forget the rain, you're out. The worst move by a quarterback, John Walton, USFL. Come on, John, the ball's over here. Most times a car flips over in an auto race with the driver not getting hurt. Phil Parsons, Winston 500. The punch of the month. Sylvester Kenyon in the red, left hand. Down goes Gino Geralmino. The best move by a wrestler. Dusty Rhodes in the bionic elbow. The best catch by a third baseman stealing a souvenir shirt from a fan. Mike Schmidt of the Phillies. The punch of the year, Roberto Duran, right hand, down goes Davey Moore. The longest golf shot, Bill Rogers, double eagle, 17th hole. 228 yard shot, first round, British Open, and the ball rolls in. The best juggling act by a third baseman, Bill Stein of Texas. All right, Bill. The tennis shot of the year, Yannick Noah, U.S. Open, against Aaron Crickstein. Noah going back and between his legs. The best catch by a right fielder, robbing a batter of a home run, Jim Dwyer of the Orioles. The best reaction by a pitcher, Jerry Royce of the Dodgers. The worst reaction by a pitcher, Sid Mungi of the Padres. The best offsides of the month, Mark Korf, University of Florida against Auburn. The foggiest hockey game of the decade, the Bruins and Canadians in Boston. The worst move by a referee in the Grey Cup game. The best foot in the face, the Lions' Billy Sims against Steve Brown of the Oilers. The longest college dive into the end zone, Spencer Tillman of Oklahoma. The worst rug of the year, the New York Cosmos against the Chicago Sting. The best throw-in in a soccer game, Volga Wallace, University of Virginia, to Jeff Gaffney, and it's a goal. And finally, the low blow of 1983, Juan Arroyo in the black, and down goes Clay Davis.
the decade. Now, let's go back to the videotape, the plays of 1984 and 1985. The most unusual shot of the year, Greg Trapp of Oregon falling over the baseline, and swish! Longest NBA shot, Phil Ford, Houston Rockets, 70-footer, swish! The brawl of the month, Buck Williams of the Nets, and Lonnie Shelton of the Cleveland Cavaliers. The best thrown ball by an NBA player, Pat Cummings, who throws the ball at Bill Walton. The catch of April, Rudy Law of the White Sox. Rudy on his horse and makes the grab. The best play behind the back, Ozzie Smith of the Cardinals. And the flip to second for the force. Best teamwork on one play, Wayne Tolleson to Larry Parrish. The best play by a second baseman after the ball hits the bag, Willie Randolph of the Yankees. The best high five to an ump, Joe Morgan of the A's. The golf shot of 1984, Peter Jacobson, 18th hole, Memorial Tournament, par four, a hundred yard shot is good. The worst base running on a two base hit. It's Juan Samuel of the Phillies, watch out Juan. The punch of the year, Thomas Hearns, right hand, and boom, down goes Roberto Duran. The best recovery of the month, Tidewater's Tim Leary hits Maine's Dwight Taylor. Unhurt, Taylor gets up and chases Leary out of the stadium. Most drop kicks by one wrestler imitating Fred Astaire, Akita Niida. The best effort by a race car driver, Nigel Manziel, with a Dallas Grand Prix running out of gas, tries to push his car across the line. The worst catch in the sun, Candy Maldonado of the Dodgers. Nice catch, Candy. The most upset manager of the month, Pat Corrales of the Indians. Corrales fined $1,000. The best exchange of dirt, Yankee manager Yogi Berra and umpire Joe Brinkman. Take that, Yogi. The best reaction to sinking a putt, Chi Chi Rodriguez in the Greater Hartford Open. The best fluke catch of 1984, Chargers Dan Fouts off the hand, then off the foot of Seattle's Kenny Easley into the hands of Bobby Duckworth and the touchdown. The best move during a tennis match, Jimmy Connors U.S. Open into the stands and takes a drink. The worst pitch of the month on a pitch out, Aurelio Lopez, who hits umpire Larry Barnett. The worst sportsmanship award with no penalty, Falcons' Don Smith, who takes off the helmet of Giants' William Roberts. The best college move by a player jumping off sides and then getting back with no penalty, Jeff Apodaca, New Mexico University. Get back, Jeff. The best shot in November, Mark Aguirre of Dallas. Let's fly with a 70-footer and swish! The worst aim of a water bottle in your face, Wayne Gretzky of the Oilers in the penalty box. Best finish to a college game, Boston College, trailing Miami by four points, Doug Flutie to Gerald Phelan, and Boston College beats Miami on the last play of the game. The human spinning wheel move of the year, Nat Moore of the Miami Dolphins. The worst hit after the bell, Tony Anthony, who hits Mike Weaver after the bell. Anthony is disqualified. And the elbow of the year, Xavier McDaniel of Wichita State elbows Rick Osborne of Oregon. In 1985, the longest hockey shot of the decade, Islanders Gerald Diddick, 185 footer, it's good. The worst ski accident with no major injury. Men's downhill, West Germany's Klaus Guterman, Kitzbühel, Austria. The longest college shot of the decade, Marshall's Bruce Morris, 89 feet 10 inches. The longest shot in the Israeli league, Doran Gomchi, 87 foot hook shot. Here it comes and Mazel Tov. The best catch going into the dugout, Tony Pena of the Pirates. 
The best sneak punch of the month, Hakeem Olajuwon against Billy Pulse. The most upset goalie, Kelly Rudy of the Islanders. The best double play, a line drive off Steve Bedrosian's rear end to Paul Zabella to Glenn Hubbard, a double play. The worst collision with an umpire, Toledo Mudhens Mike Hart, who runs in the first base umpire, Denny Craig. The most bizarre incident in a bull ring of the decade. Two matadors in Spain, Jose Manzanares and Vicente Ruiz. Ruiz takes exception to Manzanares' tactics and goes after him. The best chip shot out of a sand trap, Payne Stewart, U.S. Open. The worst sport of the year, Indiana coach Bobby Knight against Purdue, who tells the official to have a seat. Knight is suspended one game. The fattest pass receiver of the decade, 308-pound William Refrigerator Perry of the Bears. The longest hook shot, Jim Abramitis, University of Connecticut, USBL, 79-footer swish. The catch of the month, Ken Griffey of the Yankees, who goes back and robs Marty Barrett of the Red Sox. How about a somersault, Ken? The worst base running of the year. Bobby Meacham and Dale Bearer of the Yankees. Here they come. And Carlton Fisk tags them both out at the plate. The collision of the month. Keith Moreland of the Cubs and Tom Nieto of the Cardinals. The best catch in a dugout. George Brett on a foul pop-up. World Series game number two. Watch out, George. The worst hit on a goal post. Tight end Scott Halverson of Iowa. The best college play by a quarterback in 1985, South Carolina quarterback Mike Hold against Pittsburgh. Here is Hold, who goes back to his own end zone, then throws to Anthony Smith. The ball is deflected into the hands of Raynard Brown, who runs the remaining 50 yards, completing an 80-yard touchdown. The best NBA hook shot, Craig Hodges of the Bucks, 60-footer, swish. The NFL Catch of the Month, John Stallworth of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Boo of the Year, Clemson University players ganging up on Maryland News' Lou Askew. Six Clemson players suspended and or put on probation. The best call by referee side judge Bill Grimby. What is it, Bill? And the worst move by two high school teams coming out on the field at the same time. plays of the decade. So now let's go to the videotape, the plays of 1986 and 1987. The longest NBA shot of the month in January, Herb Williams of the Pacers, an 81-footer and swish. The college brawl, David Dunn of Georgia in the white and Ken McClary of Florida in the red. The best horse race without a jockey, first race at Aqueduct, it's tribute to Ted on the inside. The best dunk by Little Man, 5'6", Spud Webb, in the slam dunk contest. The high school shot of the month, Chris Knowles, Buena Vista High School, a 60-footer, good. And the Buena Vista coach faints. The skiing attempt with no serious injury, Ulf Fenderson, East Germany, World Ski Championships, Cone, Austria. The NBA slide of the month, it's Danny Ainge of the Celtics. Give us a smile, Danny. The greatest example of on Queer Street, Trevor Burbick against Mike Tyson, second round. Burbick not only goes down one time from the same punch, two times, but three times from the same punch. The worst move by a TV camera crew, the Lachine bike race in Montreal. The crew fails to get off the track in time. The best move by a pitcher who has the ball stuck in his glove. Terry Maholland of the Giants. Get rid of it, Terry. The worst move by an usher at Tiger Stadium who accidentally puts a box in front of Darnell Coles. The best NFL dive into the end zone, Gary Anderson of the Chargers. 
The best pass without looking, magic to Billy Thompson. The bizarre play of 1986, Tampa Bay quarterback Steve Young, intercepted by Todd Bell, lateral to Mike Richardson, who accidentally gives it to Vince Heflin. Touchdown. The most embarrassing play of 1986, BYU quarterback Bob Jensen, with a clear field ahead of him, celebrates too soon and falls down. The best reaction of the year to the last out of the world series, Jesse Orozco and the rest of the New York Mets. In 1987, the skiing accident of the year with no serious injury, Todd Brooker, Canada World Cup downhill, Kitzbühel, Austria. The best double knockdown, kickboxers, Joe Poe and Tom McElroo. The best contact on one play in the NBA with no foul call, Kevin McHale of the Celtics and Bill Hanslick of the Nuggets. The hardest shot of the year, Rangers' Tony McKegney lets fly with a slap shot, ripping off the mask of Caps goalie Bob Mason. The first perfect 300 game on television in 14 years, Pete McCordick. The worst hit job on a tire, the crew of Davy Allison, Daytona 500. Allison loses his right rear tire. The worst sneak punch, Donald Curry, who hits Tony Montgomery after the fight is over. The longest college shot, incorrectly ruled after the buzzer, Oklahoma Stacy King, 84-footer, good. The best swing and a miss after being hit by a pitch, Sean Dunstan of the Cubs, who misses Andy McGaffigan of the Expos. The longest shot in April, Magic Johnson, an 80-footer against Denver, and swish. The best move by a big man running into the stands, six foot four, 260-pound Charles Barkley of the 76ers. The best double knockdown, Bobby Cameron and Jerry Hanna. Down they go. The best grab by a right fielder going into the seats, Mitchell Webster of the Montreal Expos. The fast break of May 87, the Lakers, Kareem to Scott to Magic to Worthy and the slam. The best touchdown pass in the NBA, Robert Parrish to Jerry Seasting. The best dance after a winning shot, Isaiah Thomas, game four against the Hawks. The best foul with no foul ever called. Robert Parrish and Bill Lane Beer, game five. Parrish was eventually fined and suspended. The best crash of May 87 with no injury. Bobby Allison, Talladega 500. The worst collision, Mookie Wilson and Lenny Dykstra of the Mets. Mookie holds on to the ball. The worst horse spill with no injury to the jockey or the horses. Canterbury Downs, Minnesota. The catch of July 87, robbing a player of a home run. White Sox, Yvonne Calderon, who takes a home run away from Alan Trammell. The best tumbling catch of July 1987, Bo Jackson of the Royals, who robs Cal Ripken Jr. Best fake handshake by two seniors, Chichi Rodriguez and Gary Player. The worst case of being caught in the act. Twins pitcher Joe Negro, who was fined and suspended for doctoring up the ball with an emery board. A worst sportsmanship award, Pan Am Games. The Mexican trainer comes off the bench and tackles Nelson Kirshner of Brazil. The best heads up play by a pitcher, the Phillies, Shane Raleigh, to Mike Schmidt, to Rick Shue for the out. The best teamwork on a pop-up, Tom Brookins and Mike Heath. The trickiest onside kick of 1987 that didn't work, Penn State against Syracuse. Syracuse recovers. The most irate hockey team, the New Jersey Devils, who climbed the plexiglass after being pelted with debris. The best touchdown pass November in the NBA, Larry Bird on the fly to Connor Henry, who slams it. The most determined kicker of the decade, 250-pound William Ritten of South Carolina State, who misses a game-winning field goal against Grambling. But Grambling is called for roughing the kicker. On his second try, Ritten's kick is blocked, but Grambling is offside. On his third try, Ritten's kick is no good, but again, Grambling is offside. Finally, a fourth time on the same kick, Ritten's kick is good and South Carolina State beats Grambling 15 to 13.
the best bump and cartwheel, 395 pound Bam Bam Bigelow. And the goal of the year, Flyers' Ron Hextall becomes only the second goalie in history to score a goal, almost 180 footer empty net against the Bruins. And one of the funniest moments of the decade occurred when Portland Trailblazers Vice President, Harry Glickman, went to introduce his new coach, Mike Schuler. When we shook hands on our deal yesterday afternoon, I told him we'd make Oregonians out of the two of them. Mike, it's all yours. Let me slide over here. Now for a limited run. And back to the year 1988. The best punch in the NBA without being caught. Watch Charles Barkley against Bernard King. The best broken backboard of the year. Jerome Lane of the University of Pittsburgh. The best sneak push of 1988. Sleepy Floyd of the Rockets who pushes Jeff Hornacek of the Spurs. The golf shot of January 1988, Hal Sutton, third round Phoenix Open, 166 yard shot, par 3, 16th hole, and it's a hole in one. The worst finish to winning a race, Ben Johnson, 60 meter dash, Sherbrooke International. Johnson wins it, but goes up and over. The most upset college coach of the year, Bill Frieder of Michigan, and believe it or not, his team was ahead at the time by 36 points. The longest high school shot of the year, Daryl Bob Landon in Washington, D.C., a 70-footer, and he banks it in. The best flying dunk of the month, Michael Jordan, with a stuck-out tongue and all against the Cleveland Cavaliers. The best behind-the-back pass, Del Curry of Cleveland to Brad Doherty and the two. The best piggyback play, Wes Matthews of the Lakers riding Dudley Bradley of the Nets. The best move for a loose ball into the stands, Jaron Jackson of Georgetown. The best reverse spin of a golf shot, Mark McCumber, first round ninth hole, Players' Championship, 112 yard shot, and the ball rolls in. The worst aim by a fighter, Edward Neblett, who punches John Walker and then hits referee Tony Perez. The worst move by a horse going the wrong way, Hadarka Lobel fifth race at Yonkers. The best non-stop exchange in one round with no knockdowns, Jose Concepcion and Bernard Gray at the Garden. The most painful time at bat. First, Billy Ripken fouls a ball off his foot. Then Seattle third baseman Edgar Martinez, thinking the ball was a batted ball, throws and hits Ripken in the head. The windiest game of the decade. The Pirates against the Astros in Pittsburgh. The game was called in the ninth inning because of wind. The best left hand of the month, Lindell Holmes, boom, down goes Steve Darnell. The wildest swing of the month, Keith Roberts, swing and a miss. The best catch by two men on one ball, A's second baseman, Glenn Hubbard, and A's right fielder, Jose Conseco. The worst play by a right fielder losing the ball in the sun, Andre Dawson of the Cubs. Watch out, Andre! The best catch by a catcher jumping into the stands, Mickey Tettelin of the Orioles. The best throw to second base by a catcher with nobody covering second base, Mike Heath of the Tigers. The best putt by an amateur, Michael Jordan, Pro-Am Atlantic Classic out of the bunker on the fly. The worst move by a quarterback in arena football, Chicago's Ben Benjamin, who throws the ball at New York's Quinton Knight. The best injury-free crash, the barrier through the fence, through the bricks, Ruben Garcia, Riverside 500. Most lopsided baseball fight, which becomes a four-on-one, Giants' Will Clark against the St. Louis Cardinals. The best catch of the year while crashing through the barrier, Cubs pitcher Jamie Moyer, who holds on to the ball. The best diving catch on a wet field, Red Sox center fielder, Ellis Burks. 
the best catch by a pitcher in the bullpen of a home run. Red Sox pitcher Mike Smithson, who grabs the homer and then stuffs it. The worst move by a catcher on a foul pop-up, Darren Miller of the Angels. Watch out, Darren! Oh! Most umpires throwing out one manager at one time. Angels manager, Cookie Rojas. The best play by a pitcher, Frank Viola of the Twins, behind the back and throws him out. Hey, hide that face, Frank. The hardest pitch of the decade, Oral Hirschheiser, who saws off the bat of Glenn Davis. The best move by a father and son team, picking up a foul ball. All right, kid. The best volley of the month, Zena Garrison and Martina Navratilova of the U.S. Open. The best running catch in the dugout in the 1988 playoffs, Greg Jeffries of the Mets in game one. The best catch in the mud and rain in the playoffs, Kirk Gibson, game three, reaching out and robbing Mookie Wilson. The most dramatic home run of the decade, Game 1, 88 World Series, two outs, bottom of the ninth, Gibson on one leg. Finch hits a two-run homer, giving the Dodgers a 5-4 win. The best college football one-handed catch, Steve Harbenz of Iowa in the white against Purdue. All right, Steve. The best impromptu NFL run of the year by a quarterback, Steve Young of the 49ers against the Vikings. Two minutes to play, San Francisco trailing 21-17. He gets away from everyone and stumbles into the end zone. The fast break of the month, the Knicks, Newman to Jackson to Oakley to Wilkins. The clothesline of the month, Benoit Benjamin of the Clippers who clobbers Jerome Kersey of Portland. The best combination punches, Sugar Ray Leonard. A right, a left, and down goes Donnie Lalonde. And the foggiest football game of the decade, Eagles-Bears, Soldier Field, New Year's Eve. Now, just to show you that some professional owners are good sports, here was Buffalo Bills owner Ralph Wilson being presented the game ball after his Bills beat the Jets in 1988. Hooray! Oh, hooray! hooray! Go to the videotape of the plays of the decade, the year 1989. Best save by grabbing your opponent's pants. Charles Smith of Georgetown who grabs the drawers of Marvin Sadler. The best exchange after the bell, Wally Muhammad and Jeff Lampkin trying to be separated by referee Paul Venti. The jockey of the decade, Nat Hubbard, first race Golden State, loses his mount but hangs on. Sweetwater Oak finishing second. The worst stuff of the decade. Freddie McSwain of Southern Illinois puts it in, but the ball hits McSwain on the top of his head and bounces out. No basket. The best bare hand catch of the decade. National League MVP Kevin Mitchell, who reaches up and makes the grab. The first person to break his bat over his knee after striking out. Bo Jackson of the Royals. The best reaction to being hit by a very slow curveball, Mike Heath of the Tigers. Are you hurt, Mike? Come on, give us a smile. The collision of the month, Billy Hatcher and Terry Kennedy. The worst kick of the month by a horse, Sunday Silence, kicks his trainer, Charlie Winningham. The best reaction after making a hidden chip shot. Tom Watson, second round, 18th hole, U.S. Open. Where'd it go? It's in! It's in, Tom! The diving catch of the month, Barry Bonds of the Pittsburgh Pirates. The best impression of a soccer player, Reds right fielder Paul O'Neill, who kicks the ball back to the infield. The worst pitch of the month, Andy Hawkins of the Yankees. The best diving catch by a left fielder crashing into a wall, Herm Winningham of the Reds. 
The best catch by a third baseman going into the photographer's box, Carlos Martinez of the White Sox. The most upset manager of the decade, Don Zimmer of the Cubs, who almost bites the nose of umpire Terry Crawford. The worst face mask pull, Jets' Tony Martin, pulls Eagles' Greg Garrett's helmet completely around. The most creative play, running back Darren Brooks of Aiken High School in Cincinnati. Because the coach said, try something clever. The home plate collision, Greg Vaughn of the Brewers, Jamie Quirk of Baltimore. The best broken bat of the month, again, Bo Jackson of the Royals. The best flip of the month, Ernest Gibbons of the Oilers. Here he goes, up and over. The mother of the decade, Mrs. Minna Wilson, seeing her son being pounded out by Steve McCarthy, jumps into the ring and hits McCarthy over the head with her shoe. The longest college football play of the month, University of Washington in the white, blocks the University of California's extra point. Look at that loose ball, count them, three, four, there's another one, five, he's got it right, wrong, one more time, and Washington Lilo Lang finally gets the two-point conversion. The best hit by a linebacker on fourth and goal at the one, Giants number 55, Gary Reasons, who stops Bobby Humphrey of the Broncos. The best victory smile after a win, Chris Nyland of the Rangers. The goal of the month, Paul Gillis of Quebec, totally off his feet, shoots, and scores. And the longest golf shot of 1989, Peter Jacobs of Kapalua International, 12th hole, 220 yards, a hole in one. Well, I hope you enjoyed our show, Plays of the Decade from 1980 to 1989. I'd like to thank my producers, Carmine Sincata and Cliff Gelb, and my editor, Tommy Chu. And before we go, I want to leave you with the biggest interviewing height mismatch of any decade, featuring yours truly and seven foot four Andre the Giant. Well, look, I want to wish you good luck tonight. And uh, against the. Uh, you... I'm all set. I'm... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Get it, wait, excuse me, let me. <laughs> <laughs> so long, folks. See you later. Take care, Andre. <laughs>